All right, ladies and gentlemen, I wanted to just address a couple questions I've been getting about the uh, HyperDoc that I pushed out yesterday. Um, so as you go in the folder here, okay, there's a warm-up question, and um, that's just sort of wrapping up some stuff that we saw in our projectile motion unit. Here is a uh, you know, quick little set of directions. I'm going to link this video right in here once I'm finished with it. Then you see, should see the uh, assignment itself along with a follow-up discussion post as well. So if I click into here, you should see this link. You can click that. It's going to force you to make a copy. All right. No, thank you. Make a copy. You can see I've had my fair share of connection issues as well. So waking up a little bit so um, you know and again once you have your copy make sure you title it I'm gonna call this one screencast all right so now you have your own copy of this Google Doc and again I mentioned in that sort of short bit of directions this is just a different way of packaging a lot of things all at all in one place. All right, so in this first section, there's a couple links here. There's a lot of links embedded within here. Um, again, this is a uh, experiment. I think it's really cool. If you have this stuff to try it out at home, I definitely suggest it. Because again, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, as you start to get to some of the questions, you can answer them right in this Google Doc because this is what you're going to be submitting back to me. Again, as you get through the explore and the explain, there's going to be some different links here Okay, in this explore section. It's generally going to give you a link, <clears throat> ask a couple questions about that part, and then continue to move. As you get into the explain section, this is sort of going to supplement some of your notes. Okay, if you open this, there should be a slide deck. I gave you your key points to look for here. And um, you know, so that's what I would be adding to your notes. We'll be adding a little bit more to that as we move on through the week here. Okay, the apply section. You're going to want to insert a drawing. And you might have one already existing. You can create a new one. But I am curious, and we'll get better with this, to see what for the box. Oh, there we go. Curious to see what sort of um, forces you think are acting on the pennies in those different circumstances. So you could just illustrate the the stack of pennies as a, a box here, um, you know, and then add some arrows. Like one of the things that we know about is, and I'm actually going to see if I can make this an actual arrow. One of the things we've been talking about is gravity. All right, so I'm gonna I might label this gravity. That's a little bit too big, but it'll do. So as you go through the different processes, we've put a different force or different forces on that stack of pennies. So I'm curious to see what forces you think are acting on those pennies or you know again the example from the video at first is ripping the tablecloth out so maybe like a glass you know what sort of forces are acting on the glass throughout the process of ripping the tablecloth out from underneath of it so I can save and close that and it's going to insert that that drawing again I'm not quite finished here but you can see how um, how you got there all right in this extend section again um another cool little video and i'm curious to see what forces you think are on the balloon and on the, the water it's a, it's a slow motion video of a water balloon 
what sort of forces do you think are going on there? So hope this helps. Shoot me any questions if you should have them, and I'll talk to you guys soon.